If you have to stick to Adobe for your all-in-one mobile photo editing, choosing an app is not as simple as it sounds. You have basically two similarly named choices, Adobe Photoshop for the iPad, priced at $10 a month and advertised as an app that can help take your creativity to new levels, help enhance your images and combine elements, and Adobe Photoshop Express, priced at a much lower $3 a month and advertised as the mobile app for all-in-one photo editing, making cutouts, and retouching. If those descriptions didn't shed any light on the difference of one over the other, don't fret, because in this video, we're going to help clear up the confusion to explain the pros and cons of each app and help you choose the best Adobe Photo Editor for your mobile editing needs. So let's start off with raw editing performance, starting with Photoshop Express. To be clear, both Photoshop Express and Photoshop can do raw editing. Both largely have the same sliders and produce identical high quality adjustments Adobe is known for. The main advantage of Photoshop Express is its ability to perform automatic object masking. For example, in this specific scene, with just a click of a button, Photoshop Express has automatically detected 15 objects from the subject all the way down to the body skin. This is something no other mobile raw editor can do as far as I'm aware and makes it extremely simple to perform precise local adjustments, which would normally require the use of selection tools and masking. With Photoshop Express, you only need to tap the object and move the slider. This workflow works great for portrait retouching when you need to make quick adjustments to facial features, hair, or clothes. So that was Photoshop Express. What about the raw editing in Photoshop for the iPad? Not to be outdone, Photoshop for the iPad has its own set of advantages. While it doesn't support any automatic object masking in its raw editor, it outdoes Photoshop Express in its ability to open a file from iCloud Drive, which is where most people would likely store their raw photos. Express only supports opening photos from the device's photo library. In addition, Photoshop's interface is more intuitive. It shows multiple sliders in a single panel, making it both easier to learn as it resembles the familiar user interface of popular raw editors and faster to navigate. Express's UI is designed in a way to show only one slider at a time, which can be more tedious to navigate. So that was raw editing on both apps. Let's move on to combining photos and creating cutouts. Combining photos or compositing is the primary reason you would probably use any app with Photoshop in its name. And Express does not disappoint. Express utilizes its automatic object detection to allow for cutouts to be made with no need for selection tools. You simply tap to create the cutout. However, for tasks which do not lend itself to automatic masking, such as when replacing this window scene, Express offers two tools, Smart Cut and Brush. As you can see here, Smart Cut can be used to make precise selections by dragging a rectangle over an object. So those are some good features of Photoshop Express. But what about disadvantages? Well, when it comes to combining images, Express has two important disadvantages. The first has to do with the quality of its selection tools. Smart Cut, while extremely easy to use, is also less accurate than tools from Photoshop or even Affinity Photo. As you can see here, just to get this basic frame selected, takes quite a number of operations, far more than you would need with a competent selection brush. Compounding this issue is the fact that its brush has no built-in edge detection and cannot help with making a precise selection, unless you have an Apple Pencil accompanied by a very steady hand. The second disadvantage is for more complicated subjects, such as hair, Express is unable to handle fine detail, as you can see here. Numerous errors remain, and Express has no refined tools, not even a brush with an opacity slider to help produce a reasonable fix. Moving on to Photoshop, while Express struggles with sophisticated subjects, Photoshop does not. It's one-click subject selection or background removal, whichever you prefer to use, 
is far better in being able to distinguish between fine detail and small gaps, as you can see here. Also, Photoshop offers the ability to further refine edges with sliders to get even better quality selections. Aside from better subject selection and background removal, Photoshop also has the far better performing selection tools. For example, its quick selection tool allows me to select the window frame and replace the scene in far less time than Express. So that was combining images and creating cutouts with both apps. Let's move on to generative AI. While a recent update says that Adobe Express has been integrated with generative AI, disappointingly, I didn't get to see the option in any of my iPads. It was, however, strangely available on my iPhone. Why that is, I do not know. On the iPhone though, generative AI works great. The only drawback is Express limits the selection to just a brush rather than a marquee tool or object selection tool, which would have been far more accurate and intuitive. Nevertheless, the technology works, as you can see. On the other hand, Photoshop's generative AI feature was available on all my iPads, old and new. Its main advantage is its far more intuitive and precise selection tools. So that was a quick comparison of Photoshop for the iPad and Photoshop Express. So which one would I recommend? I'd say pick Photoshop if money is not a concern and you find its $10 a month price reasonable. Pick Photoshop if you need to make cutouts of complicated subjects like hair or fur or need generative AI tools. Once again, I didn't get generative AI to work in Photoshop Express for the iPad. On the other hand, pick Photoshop Express if money is a concern, you don't want to pay too much for your photo editing, you don't need to make cutouts of subjects with complex edges like hair or fur, and find Express's selection tools, which are Smart Cut and Brush, good enough for your needs. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know which one you prefer, Photoshop or Photoshop Express. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.